Hello everyone, Jesse Webb, Traders Pro. Market conditions remain bullish in a bull market, continuing this overall uptrend and seeing some good internal uh, bullish internals right here. We're seeing momentum continue to that overall upside. Also seeing that buy the dip mentality where you have these rallies and then a pullback. That's also referred to as a dip. That pullback looking for support in certain locations and we're starting to see that or at least we have been seeing that over the last uh, month or two and so we've got some constructive bullishness we've got a shortened a little bit of a shortened week this week the the market will close early today and then it's closed tomorrow for the holiday and so we'll probably not see a lot of activity uh, but it uh, sometimes that does happen just on lighter volume so overall bullishness intact we've got the buy sell ratio which is also showing bullishness at uh, 0.81 so almost two to one on buy sell ratio that's good bullish breadth that's continuing to evolve sentiment we're not overly uh, extreme we're not overbought at this point which is also a good location to be able to get some continuation off this rally if we take a look at our new buy list today mostly mostly um, bio stocks pharma stocks <coughs> excuse me, these medical stocks, uh, a nice breakout on AVDL. That took it right up into that extreme range, though. Uh, we've seen this before, and on these breakout moves, sometimes they'll continue to get another good strong bar. Other times it pauses and, and, re, and kind of retests this support area right here. Uh, but it is, uh, it is extreme right here. It may need a day or two to pull back into that buy zone. Uh, but again, that's a because of a breakout, sometimes you can see that continuation moving higher. We'll see what this one ends up doing uh, in the next couple of days. That was the top stock on the new buy list this morning. PLSE, also a really interesting pattern and interesting stock. <clears throat> Their technology is interesting as well. And uh, I did a little bit more research on this stock, and it, it's a it's a pretty interesting stock. One of the ways you can go in and on this more tab, you can drop down, and this is linking out to a bunch of other sites. If you want additional, you know, perspective or news items or uh, things that are happening, there's some links there for you to be able to to access stuff like that. This is uh, also a new buy stock after lots and lots of support here. You can see this is a obviously a daily chart, so you've got about you know ten days right there another four or five days of support right here and holding right at that support level when you see that happening you know that there's no there's no more sellers left at least at this point and based on all the information in the stock that the, there are n nobody left that's willing to just sell at these points that said there are a lot of topping tail bars right here so every time it's rallying up into this resistance it's pulling back so if we can see a, a solid breakout of this area this may get some continuation so another interesting chart pattern and here on PLSC, SMCI, 6% move yesterday or on, on a Friday. A small retracement pullback back to some support right here, but a, an overall real solid uptrend and getting some confirmation here. This is in the uh, computer storage device sector. Uh, let's take a look at number three, CVRX, medical instruments. A nice looking confirmation bar here after a pretty tight consolidation, tight meaning this you know, it was pretty tight inside of this move. It wasn't really wide and volatile, kind of like back here, you can see the amount of volatility. Uh, inside of this last uptrend, you're seeing these these real solid, solidly defined stair step locations where you have a breakout higher and then a back to support. This now becomes the floor. Breakout floor. So it's ha happened right here again. So when that starts to become a trend, then you can trust that trend a little bit more when it's continuing to do the same thing. And you're seeing buying buying at support, breakout, buying at support, confirmation, looking for a potential breakout. So CVRX early in the buy zone as well. So you've got a good bullish buy profile right here on CVRX. Uh, all you know all so far in that medical world which is uh, which is fine that's where things are moving right now um, GENI here's an internet content computer technology 
uh, Genius Sports, don't know what it is, probably sports betting or something along, along that avenue. Uh, uptrend, solid, almost looking for a potential breakout here also. So you're running into some resistance. Watch to see if there's confirmation bar on those. I did see a little bit deeper in the list our good friend here, NVIDIA. This has been the one that's just been chugging along and, and really cruising and has got some real good momentum to it. It's still it's early in the buy zone here as well, but it's had a massive run. This overall, you know, this overall run higher in the last year, uh, approaching some upper ends of that range. But nonetheless, it's gone from hold back to a buy, and interesting stock certainly to keep in the watch list with AI and everything that's going on. Nvidia is interesting stock to be looking at. That'll do it for today's update. Everyone have a fantastic holiday week.